If you're going to make it, you've got to be willing to be the outlier, the weird one. Forget about fitting in. Forget about socializing with everyone. You need to stand out. When people don't understand you, you're doing it right. It's time to stay focused, man. It is time. It is time to go from mediocre to meteoric. It's time to decide f clubs, f partying, f trying to fit in and socialize, rub elbows with everybody so people can stop calling you weird. Why are you so antisocial? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you staying on the basketball court so much? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you out there practicing in the hot sun when ain't nobody else out there? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you not clubbing? Like every time I text you and invite you to go do something fun and cool, you always study it. Because I'm trying to get it. The more weird you are is a reflection of how committed you are to focusing on your sh molding and shaping and developing your ideas and your craft so that when it's time for you to make your rounds, you're going to fly. I mean, you are misunderstood to the point where people think you're psycho and you're nuts and you're this and that. Why are you in the fucking gym at one o'clock in the fucking morning? What's wrong? When people don't understand you anymore, you're in that spot of obsession and drive. To be the best at what you do, you have to be unbalanced to find every bit of fucking energy and strength that you have to pull it off. And it takes being fucking obsessed to where people think you're crazy. You still got work to do. Stay on that basketball court. Stay on that football field. F all the homies texting and calling and trying to make you feel bad about being so focused. It's grind season, homie. It's not about today. It's about the future. Do the work now and all of the shit that you could ever want to do for your family, your kids, your loved ones, it's all going to be on a whole other stratosphere. While they was golfing, I was studying. While they was shooting hoops, I was studying. All men are created equal. Some work harder. Some of us just grind. Some of us don't make excuses. Many of you have lost your competitive edge. Get your competitive edge back. Act like you're playing basketball. Act like you're playing football. Go on that dog on classroom. Compete. You're not giving 120. You're giving 70. You're giving 60. You're giving 50. And you won't with these people who've given sweat, who's given blood, who's given tears. You want what they paid for and it ain't free. You might be bigger than me, you might be faster than me, you might be stronger than me, but you will not outwork me. You will not outwork me because your height has nothing to do with my work ethic. Your two-pair background has nothing to do with my work ethic. You will not outwork me. On your jet, you will not outwork me. In your Bentley, you will not outwork me. You will not outwork me. You can't get out of something, something that you're not willing to put into it. You have to put your everything, your everything, your mind, your energy, your effort, your discipline. Nothing is going to jump out the fire. Yeah, that's probably a challenge. I started dieting for this one. So I was like 272 before I started dieting. Now I'm about 212, so I lost 60 pounds in 12 weeks. While they go spend their money, you go make it. While they criticize and make fun of you, you work endlessly to shut them up with your results. Don't kill them with kindness. Torture them with success. The best revenge is massive success. Get control of your feelings. By getting control of your feelings, you gain control of your life. When you do this over and over and over again, you change your brain. You become tougher. You become the one who decides what gets done and the level of success you achieve. Put me in the game, coach. It's the anthem of everyone who has ever sat on the sidelines of life and felt like you deserve to be out there. You felt like I have something I can contribute. It's about helping the team like I see the team behind. I know I got something for them. Coach, put me in the game. 
It's as if you're Rudy all by yourself. You know that perhaps somebody might be faster, bigger, stronger. They may have been born with better genetics, but what they don't have is that innate talent and that gift and that will that's within you. Put me in the game. So this is what, it's, it's like the gift I want everybody to receive is you can get good at anything you set your mind to. But do you actually set your mind to it? Do you have that inhuman level of follow through? Do you keep pushing and fighting long after it stopped being fun, deep into boredom, because you have a why. You know why you're doing what you're doing. And you're just driving towards that. And when you have that, you can accomplish this, this extraordinary stuff. So, you know, if you take people, and I've told you this, and you expose them voluntarily to things that they are avoiding and are afraid of, you know, that they know they need to overcome in order to meet their goals, their self-defined goals. If you can teach people to stand up in the face of the things they're afraid of, they get stronger. And you don't know what the upper limits to that are, because you might ask yourself, like, if for 10 years, if you didn't avoid doing what you knew you needed to do, by, the by your own definitions, right, within the value structure that you've created to the degree that you've done that, what would you be like? Is an anthem, it's a mantra for everyone that's been an underachiever because they weren't given an opportunity. So you gotta go out and you gotta take it. And the only way that you can take it is that you put in the hard work and you put in discipline. And that discipline is getting up early in the morning. I hit the gym, I put in the cardio work, I eat right. And when I get done with that, and at the end of my day, I make sure that I sit and I look at my goals and I remind myself, this is who I'm becoming. Get back to living your life. Because at the end of the day, most of us don't realize this. We wasted our life for a person, for people, for a job, for whatever in this world that could give a damn about us. And life is too short to settle. Don't run from the difficult classes. Take them. Little pressure, little progress. Stop taking shortcuts. Stop taking the easy way. Go to the heat. Because the sooner you go to the heat, the sooner it's rain. You gotta get a little bit more intense about your life. You gotta stop being so casual. It's decisions we make that chase that best version of us every second, every day, because every day alters the direction, the course of our life. Take ownership. Don't make excuses. Don't blame any other person or any other thing. Get control of your ego. Take ownership of everything in your world, the good and the bad. Take ownership of your mistakes, take ownership of your shortfalls, take ownership of your problems, and then take ownership of the solutions that will get those problems solved. Discipline is something you dictate. Motivation won't make you exercise every day, discipline will. Motivation won't stay up late and finish a project for you, discipline will. Motivation isn't going to get you out of bed in the morning, discipline will. I see people writing on my page, oh, I listen to your videos and I get hyped. That's great, but what do you do after the five minutes is over? What do you do when you wake up the next day? What do you do when somebody's not there watching you? What do you do when you have to either do what it is you know you're supposed to do without somebody there to supervise you, or you get to take the playoff because no one's going to know the difference. And that's discipline to do the shit that you don't want to do because you know it needs to be fucking done.